My topic for today is the management of fruit flies in mango, especially in India. And this is a joint presentation by me, Abraham Burgit. I am the former director of the ICR National Bureau of Agricultural Insect Resources and the chief executive officer of the International Phytosanitary Research and Services, Dr. M. A. Rashmi. Now, the earliest recommendations that existed in fruit flies uh, uh, was uh, we can destroy all the fallen fruits, insecticidal spraying, and uh, uh, then uh, we found that uh, this had high residues. The percentage loss of uh, mango due to fruit flies in India ranged between 20 and 80 percent. But in the uh, year 2013, uh, I published a paper on um, methyl eugenol, a compound which was discovered in India by Frank Milburn Howlett. This was published in Current Science. And this made a revolutionary change in the way we managed the fruit flies. Methyl eugenol attracted the, all the males of the uh, fruit flies of at least uh, seven to 12 species. Now, uh, integrated pest management program under the ICAR and the DFID of UK started in 2001. And by 2006, we were able to uh, come out with uh, an all India validated integrated fruit fly management program. And this was published in 2005 as a special volume in the uh, in the journal Pest Management in Horticulture Ecosystems, which is uh, um, available on the web, uh, and with, it has uh, it, uh, more than forty to fifty articles exclusively on fruit flies. And this uh, integrated pest management is a big team effort. It is not an individual effort. And the Indian Institute of Horticultural Research, under the Indian Council of Agricultural Research was the uh, leader and uh, ICR gave excellent support to this program and finally the whole uh, management program was documented and approved by the Indian Council of Agricultural Research for release. Now uh, the male annihilation was the program which was uh, um, much uh, in, uh, in uh, circulation and we felt that would bring about a lot of uh, control methods. Of course, it did bring down the population because the males were attracted into traps, which had methyl eugenol. And incidentally, culure was another chemical which attracted the cucurbit uh, uh, fruit fly, the males. And um, uh, we also uh, added a bait splash on the base of the tree using 10% jaggery. Now, uh, this uh, combination Combined with sanitation, we always thought that the orchard should be kept clean and remove and throw all the fruits uh, out. Um, and by this method, we were able to bring down the population by about 80%. And um, uh, uh, still, we felt that uh, the farmers would adopt male annihilation or the traps. If we gave them the traps uh, through a commercial uh, low-cost uh, procedure, so we uh, did a lot of research on that and uh, have three patents also on that. So alcohol-free, slow-release impregnation technology of traps uh, were uh, commercialized. And this, uh, these traps, um, uh, almost uh, uh, 20 to 24 were commercialized by the Indian Institute of Horticultural Research. And many unofficial uh, traps makers small cottage industries, self-help groups started selling their traps, which was all very positive and advantageous. Thus, about 70% of the mango area was covered. And it has been estimated both by IIHR and by our own insect environment team that nearly every year, more than 600 crores worth of fruit loss has been saved. So these are the fact sheets uh, that uh, were published. And uh, this commercialization also won recognition 
from the DBT, we got a commercialization uh, award from the then Minister of Science and Technology. This was way back in 2014. Now, there are certain things which we've, uh, with research, found that had to be modified in the earlier IPM, which is the stress on my present talk, uh, sanitation. No more is sanitation considered a very important segment. We need to retain the fallen fruits. These fallen fruits can be kept in closed pits. And these uh, fallen fruits attract the fruit flies because fruit flies are essentially uh, saprophytic in uh, uh, nature. So we began to recommend a pit per tree um, and something like uh, three feet uh, deep and two feet wide collect all the fallen fruits into uh, it. And then we also found in our research that young males don't respond satisfactorily to methyl eugenol uh, if, it, if the traps are laced with insecticide. So insecticide became a hindrance to getting young males and young males are the ones which need to be trapped because they uh, are the ones which would mate and, um, and uh, help the female to lay eggs. Now these dude blocks uh, also, with insecticides, uh, began to affect non-target uh, insects, for example, the ants, for example. And in the organic system, it was not acceptable. And we are not really clear whether the regulatory bodies would allow us to use insecticide inside a trap um, without a, a clearance. And I think it's best to get uh, that also sorted out. So, male annihilation uh, becomes a passe. And now the methyl eugenol uh, traps are mainly only for uh, surveillance um, and combined with uh, female uh, deterrent spray, um, they, it becomes a, a, a management tool. And uh, the methyl eugenol traps uh, also are only good uh, diversity uh, um, indicators. So you get, a, get to know several fruit flies occurring in that uh, region and if you get them and uh, we are ready to help you out with the identification. Then in 2020 we came out with a research note, a push-pull strategy wherein we used the trapping system outside the orchard and then in the orchard on the fruits we developed a, a, a fruit fly uh, liquid soap, a herbal liquid soap as an adjuvant to as a reactant. And when these two were uh, sprayed about two to three times, it prevented oviposition on the fruit. This was an excellent uh, uh, output which we received. So what is the present IPM? The present IPM would be the traps, uh, trap placement for fruit fly surveillance, then sa sanitation pits, uh, rotting fruits to attract older females, then the spray of uh, Rashvi herbal uh, soap at the rate of 2 ml plus adenoractin uh, at the rate of 3 ml per liter at least 2 to 3 times before the harvest to deter oviposition. Now this IPM is in place and it is working extremely well. Now if the trap catches are fairly high, that is uh, more than 15 per day, uh, a single spray of spinocide at the rate of 0.3 ml per liter 20 days prior to harvest uh, showed very good result. Now, jaggery baits are not in uh, vogue or popular because jaggery rates have become very high. So farmers um, find it difficult to buy. So we have developed a bait, a sucrose bait. Uh, and 10% of that mixed with decamethylene splashed on the base of the tree attracts uh, the flies. Then we are also recommending for high value mango varieties which are exported bagging and these baggings are rainproof and prevents disease occurrence, uh, anthropnose occurrence and also prevents fruit fly of the position. Along with that we also recommend post harvest hot water uh, disinfestation um, which is easy to prepare and we are the consultants and uh, we or the DPPQ would help farmers or uh, cooperators or FPOs to have uh, um, hot water thermal disinfestation plant in their area. Now, one myth is more number of male flies in trap. 
means more control. No, more number of male flies in trap does not mean more control. It only tells the occurrence of a particular species in that area. It's a surveillance tool, nothing uh, more than that. But one important thing uh, we need to understand with respect to a flying insect like uh, fruit fly is, if one orchard takes up a, a spray, the adjacent orchard should and more. So the contiguous belt, uh, the IPM should be area wide. Therefore, it's very, very important to involve private manufacturers, input dealers, and the KVK, ATK, NGOs, ICR, SAUs, all should come into uh, picture. So, and the latest new technology I would like to add here, because this is quite important, as I was mentioning you uh, earlier, insecticide uh, laced traps do not attract fertile males. As a result, the whole um, strategy of management loses uh, out. But uh, in the uh, International Phytosanitary Research Service uh, we have, we have developed the Rashvi, non-insecticidal liquid lure. And, and this is under the BIRAC support program. Thanks to them, it is at as anti-evaporation, it is climate resilient, capable of attracting young males, better spread of male odor, creating behavioral disorientation of females. Now, this is a liquid lure that uh, it is uh, important and it is coming into the market from this April in 2024. And um, the most uh, important uh, thing about this is it any uh, water bottle, which is a waste, whether it is 250 ml, 500, 1 liter, 2 liter can be used. And we have only a uh, uh, simple caulking arrangement on top, which is uh, which has a rain guard as well as which has a wind drag control. So high wind areas, high rainfall areas, high temperature areas, uh, you know, these traps are very resilient. And the lure is you take about 5 ml of this uh, lure, put it 100 ml of water and you hang it in the uh, orchard and you have the fruit uh, lure, you have the vegetable lure, you have the multi lure also. So, and it does extremely well. And uh, we have uh, also obtained the uh, patent for this. And India should also think in terms of tolerant varieties. It's difficult to breed uh, resistant or tolerant varieties, but already commercially, a langara, for example, is relatively tolerant. And uh, probably we, pop, uh, we should probably popularize uh, that uh, as a variety and as a, a parent. And establishing hot water facility, which has been developed by ICR, IAHR, uh, should be done. Already we have more than 50 hot water treatment uh, plants across the country. And this is acceptable as an export modem for uh, uh, European uh, uh, Union. And we have published several papers uh, on that and it's one of our successful uh, uh, technologies and for uh, other markets like uh, US um, uh, for example we have the uh, irradiation also to be uh, carried out there are plans for that and vapor heat treatment for example for Japan uh, that also has to be carried out these are all for ex export uh, markets so thank you very much and those who need uh, more information would uh, uh, should contact uh, us uh, for our free consultancy thank you and jai hind <music>